Hello, hello, welcome to episode two of Direwolf 20, uh, 1.19 pack. I am Odinson and uh, we are here. I've done a little bit of mining in between episodes. Um, like I said, I would and everything. We managed to get some of this stuff, a good amount of iron. Some of that yellow right ore I was on about last episode. A few gems, a little bit of redstone, a little bit of lapis, some diamonds and a bunch of other stuff. And almost immediately, I'm finding that storage is going to be an issue. So, I've got a few things lined up here that I want to make today. But the first thing I want to do is um, look at functional storage. And we are going to need a few of these because chests is just not going to cut it. So, also in between episodes, I um, chop down some trees. And then the recipe just goes like this. And then we make some chests and then we do this and we've got eight storage drawers and these are good because they hold large amounts of like items a single item for these ones hold more of a single item you can do um whereas two slots holds half as much or four slots holds a uh, quarter as much but four different items in each one so that comes in handy later for stuff you're not going to have a large amount of bulk of but for right now, um, this is going to be good. Um, I'm not sure I even want to put these up here yet. I might. You know what? I think I'm going to have to build a 9x9 nine nine before we start this. Let's get a few of these. Okay. So, <clears throat> the Dial of 20 pack, it's obligatory at this point to make nine by nine what the hell is that okay that's a mystical that's a botania flower um let me see this doesn't look too bad let's break some grass clear a bit of space You know, I kind of want to just clear this down a level, I think. Yeah, we're going to do it. So sorry, I should have looked at this between episodes, but I didn't think I'd want to build my 9 by 9 first. So this will just take a few minutes. I also made myself some iron tools because I got such a good healthy amount of iron whilst I was farming, but this shovel's going to break soon nonetheless. I did go and get some sand from just up to the north from here because I need some glass for some of the things I want to make today. There are a huge amount of seeds in this pack. There aren't. There isn't a massive variety of different plants you can grow for food. That's industrial hemp, though. That's part of um, immersive engineering, which we will surely get into at some point later. Probably for steel before anything else, just because it's a bit more passive than doing it the uh, thermal way. And there goes my shovel. In fact, I'm not going to do that. I'm just going to go down and make another shovel because that will actually save time in the long run anyway. So drop off these seeds and that flower. Okay, uh, a couple of sticks. In fact, let's just do stone ones for the moment. Seeming as we're carrying stone. Okay, get back to it. Not quite as quick as a iron shovel, but definitely quicker than hand. And we'll have a good amount of dirt to level out another area. Of 
Okay. Nearly there. Oops. Gonna do this. Okay. Let's get a basic 9x9 nine nine down. I haven't got any building ones or any of that fancy stuff yet. So, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. And one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, eight. Okay. And then I think I'll be uh, in the middle here. That's where I have the doorway. I'll explain the reasoning behind this as soon as I'm done. It shouldn't take too long. Oh, it doesn't get any more basic than a, a dire wolf 9x9, nine nine, but you know what? It does exactly what it says in the turn. It's a very basic starting point for a base. Fourth layer, we want to go um, six up, I think. That'd be five high on the inside. So a nine by nine means nine by nine of the actual wall. It means it's seven by seven on the inside. It's very specific for a Minecraft thing because it does kind of. God. One, two, three. Yeah, one more layer. And I'm going to jump off and hurt myself. Whee! Okay, and then we put a uh, little layer around the outside. Like so. And then we put a crossbar. go and then we need 16 bits of glass so we're just gonna put a roof on this little bad boy uh, each piece of coal smelts eight things made a furnace as well um, we're just waiting for that it's gonna be night soon so I'm just gonna sleep through that Okay. <clears throat> oh, wow. That's going to take a while. All right. We sleep yet? Nope. We've got the eight storage drawers. What else did I want to make? Oh, yeah. I wanted to make this pocket storage today. I spoke about that yesterday when I went through the mods. We're going to need a couple of iron. Two. Six iron. Let's just make another... Um, Furnace whilst we're here. here. We go. Oh. Oops. Fix. Now we'll only use one bit of coal. Okay. And what else do we need? So we've got iron. I need a chest. Oops. 
see this again. A couple of redstone, four redstone. <clears throat> oh, furnaces. Okay, it's night now. Okay. Go. Last piece of iron. Perfect. I need some planks. I'm gonna sort out this mess in a minute. All right. So we're gonna do this. We're gonna make. I've got cobblestone. Oh, I had cobblestone. Go again. So we want two of these. Okay. Got that, that, and that. So we should be able to make that. Perfect. And what you do, if you shift and right click, you can um, designate what items go into what slot. So what I can then do, if I'm correct, is just go what, blah, 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 and then if I pick them up, they're not in my inventory, but they are in here, 248, that's perfect. So, if I put that away, okay, I'm going to pick up all my cobblestone. I'm going to do is I'm going to take one of them keep slated tough because that's definitely plentiful need all of that sorry all right andesite granite soapstone gravel and that'll do for the moment I think so if I just um that uh, put that in there that, that, that. that's all I can fit so I'm not gonna be able to get gravel in there for the moment okay but I can now all this that perfect and I should be able to just um Shift, Control, and Q will throw all of one item. And then if I pick all this up, it's all in here. Now, we will upgrade this uh, pocket storage so we can have more different items in there. But um, this should be done now. That's perfect. So I can go up and fill in my little ceiling just so we got a viewport with windows going up. Makes it a little tiny bit nicer, not much like that and we've got some connected textures now which is nice that was missing in the original version of the pack cool all right so the point of this is that like if you put four torches around the room like so and you do the light level overlay so like this shows you areas that won't be lit you press f7 on your keyboard in this pack like this the areas that won't be lit, and I'm just going to put a torch there. But if you see, with just four torches, nothing on the floor, the entire room is lit up. So that's perfect. So I'm just going to um, put these down. And then what I'm going to do is this. Okay, and then what I'll do is I'll have cobblestone there, dirt there, deep slate, tough, diorite, andesite, granite, and soapstone. 
Okay, and what I can do now, because this doesn't hold a huge amount. One. One. leave 11 in there that's fine and then if I do this uh, what have I got in my hand here is that cobblestone yeah so I can quickly double right click and with an empty hand like this and they all from my inventory go into their slots so you see what it is and you see how many you've got in there perfect good so that's not a bad start. Okay, I just one more thing I wanted to do is make a door. It's gonna make three, but whatever. And then I want a pressure plate. Like so. And then, put it, nope, that's the wrong way around. <laughs> okay. Right. So um, then I want to put my pressure plate on the inside, not the outside. Yep. So when I go out, it opens for me. And then I just right click it to go in and it'll close for me. Perfect. Okay, that way I don't have to mess around opening doors all the time. It's just convenience and then nothing walking past will be able to open it without, you know, breaking it basically. So now it's a case of moving stuff. Get out of my hole in the ground and this now becomes just a dedicated mining tunnel, basically. Uh, I need to pick out that okay uh, I think we'll start with this empty that out uh, axe and head back up should I have to make too many trips for this um all right, let's get the chest down. So we'll start with woods. You and you. And that. Crafting table in that corner. Put my bed there. Put the furnaces here. Then we can uh, fill this so we've got sand. Gravel. In Kiwi, I have no idea what this is used for. Okay, it's used in some machines. They're pretty. Okay, so that's Icorium ore. I have no idea where you get that. I haven't seen that yet. Uh, Scoria. And then we can put that there too. In fact, if we do that, keep the top logs, next row planks, and the other stuff, stuff made. And then we'll just uh, stick a bit of coal in there in case we need it. Head back down and get the next lot. Moving day into a 9 by 9 on episode 2. So this stuff, this is one of the many things that drops from them gobber blocks I was looking at, but I was able to mine because I made a... Um, Iron pickaxe. So you get this gooey bread, which is better than normal bread. This gooey beef stew, which is awesome. Look at the amount of um, satiation, the hunger it gives you. And then gooey beef, which is also pretty good. And it, But what you do get is these goo blocks. And if you get eight of some, like, bread, stew, or beef, or whatever, and surround a, um, like, I'll show you. Like this. Steaks, you get eight gooey steaks. So they give you, like, four health and... One, two, three, four, six and a half hunger, and these give you four and a half health, and one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight and a half hunger. Now you could do it with apples, with the stew, 
with the bread. So that's a hacky little cheaty thing that's in the pack that I'm actually quite happy about. So I'm gonna take the food stuff up. Uh, axe would be helpful. This is the named axe. It's one of the axes I found on a um, a zombie I found whilst I was mining. Oh, hello, pig. Hey, pig. Hi. Yeah, same to you, dude. <clears throat> all right. So then we can put all the planty stuff in there. Ah, uh, and that. That's one of them resonating crystals from Deep Resonance I found. There is a cavern down there, but there was also a horrible spawner, which I didn't want to go near, so I just carried on digging down. Um, sticks. No pocket storage. Perfect. Looks like it's night time. Yep. All oh, the days go by so fast. And I've just got to move this one last crate. Chest. Oh, and I got to be fast because I can't quite carry it all. I thought I would be able to. Well, it don't want it to despawn. All right, so you go in there. And that and that. I've got coal. I'm gonna have diamonds. Lapis. Redstone. Uh this stuff that seems to drop in ridiculous amounts. Um iron. Tin. Copper. Gold. Got this stuff, dimensional shard ore from RF tools. All right, appetite. This is the other thing that drops from then gobble blocks is a fuel. And I think one of these burns for four times as long as a piece of coal. Pretty sure. Uh, that's nitro and force gems. I only want ores over this side. Zinc, bauxite, silver. Then a bar over there. Flint can go down there. And then we're good. Okay. That's everything from down there, isn't it? Pretty sure. Oh, yeah. We needed to get this stuff. That was right. But other than that, we're good. All right. Cool. So we've moved up into our little teeny 9 by 9 Which I'm not too unhappy about. That's good. Uranite and then the Cychronium stuff. Zeganite. It doesn't actually get used so much, I've seen as well. It's like, it makes a bunch of music discs and then just makes these three things machine parts mold. And then the blacksmith just does stuff with it from um, mine colonies. So, whatever. I mean, it might be something we end up voiding because I can't really see much use for it, to be honest. Anyways, so I've got that off. All right, mining gadget. Uh, yep, I made sure we had stuff. So first thing we want to do is get some panes of glass. So for that, we're going to need six sand. I'm going to um, just use one furnace because I'm tight and I don't want to waste stuff. Need two lapis, two diamond, four redstone. And then we'll need another three diamonds. Oh, I can't even make that yet. Well, that sucks. That's dent in my plans. <laughs> okay, but we can get the stuff ready for next episode and I'll go mining in between episodes again. So that'll be totally fine. Uh, this, yeah, we can make the modification table. So this is uh, di one of Diable Zone mods, which is the uh, mining gadgets. Um, and you need this modification table to be able to add, like, all the extra mods in there. I'll, let's have a look at them whilst we're here. Uh, mining gadgets. So you've got all these things here. So you've got, like, Silk Touch, uh, Void Junk, and you can put your filters in there. Magnet. 
this is the important one, three by three, but we're going to need a bunch of diamonds, so 12 diamonds, uh, plus the two for that, so that's 14 diamonds, and two ender pearls, which means we're either going to have to go to the nether, or we're going to have to go hunting for them at night. So we'll see which one comes first and everything, because we definitely want a three by three mining laser. And we're also probably going to want a battery upgrade as well. And the other thing I wanted to build today, yes, I can build that today, is the charging station for the actual mining laser itself. So we'll do that. That's good. OK, um, we've got six glass, make some glass panes. That's just in preparation, so we'll make the modification table today. We're going to do that. Blank upgrade, and then we need six more iron. Okay, put them in there. Wait for that. Two redstone. Okay, that's perfect. And then we can put these glass panes in here, I suppose. Okay, that's good. Uh, so we've got that, we're gonna be... And then next we're gonna do the charging station, so four. It's more than eight if I put them together, so I may as well just use the second smelter. It'll use two pieces of coal anyway. Modification table, six, that, that, that. We need two lapis, two redstone, and a block of coal. One, two, one, two. Uh, eight, nine, coal. Okay, I think I can make that now. Yes, perfect. All right, um, he can live there for the moment. That's perfect. So you can put um, coal and stuff in this and it will start to uh, generate power from it. So I'm going to take some because i got a bit. And you can see it started to fill up with power. Which is perfect. Good. Two. Four. So we can make this final thing. That's how I've made that. So I can get rid of that. I'm going to be making this. This can live here. Perfect. And you can put your mining gadget in there. All right, that's a good fit. I've got a few things made today. I just need a bunch more diamonds and some ender pearls. So, um, yeah, I'm going to have to go to the Never Boys. Uh, that means I'm going to need some obsidian, which probably means that I need to <coughs> either make a bucket, which is easier and simpler, but then I need to find lava, or I go and find an asteroid, which is the other good option, which I'm going to need to do for apply the logistics anyway so um yeah so i mean this seems to be like a pretty good point to wrap it up for today i mean it's a slightly shorter episode but still nearly half an hour and i'm gonna get on and do the things that i need to and um until then i'll see you next time